everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the stock swoosh and reviewing the market. So we shorted the QQQs today. It was a trade that did not set up quickly, or I shouldn't say that. We set up quickly, but it took a while to go. Um, you could have held it actually all day. So I did not. I had what would have been a fairly early exit on this compared to where this fell off in the afternoon, but I did make money in this. I did the ad and I was happy to get out. Uh, with profit and then I watch the options so this is this chart the chart of the QQQs is actually a great example of selling okay because we did rally this morning we were actually green on the live day today until uh, let me just blow this up actually let me just get rid of this and we're down tonight So we were green today until like around 11 o'clock-ish, 11.15, 11.30, we started to break off and then we fell through the low of the day around 12 o'clock. So it took a while for us to go because people were buying it. People bought the dip in the market in the gap down today, this morning, it didn't hold, the bears won. So again, if you understand how to read this, you would have been short with me. And you would have gotten paid into the momentum because the momentum today was to the downside, not up. So the bulls were never in charge today. They really, really weren't. And actually, we we're talking about this morning how low the volume was this morning. Seven million, like in the first half an hour, something like it was crazy. It was so low volume for the market. And then obviously we picked up volume as the day went on. Why? Because selling started to come in. Now, you can say it's because of the FOMC minutes, what the Fed says. We were selling up. We started selling up before that. You could say because of the COVID, the new COVID variant that came out. Now everybody's scared about that. We're talking about masks again. I'm never going back to wearing a mask, by the way. It's ridiculous even to ever wear one. But um, there, there was lots of reasons you could say we're lower. What happened yesterday with banks. I don't follow fundamentals for any reason other than what I have to discuss on television. When I'm on national television, they want to discuss market events on economic news, and I do keep aware of that, and also I watch the news myself. But that being said, I'm reading the chart, and I saw the gap down this morning. That is why we shorted the market. That's why we went short, and we were in this very early. So again, I got out of this. Well, actually, let me show you. So we got in this early. Then it rallied. We almost got stopped. Then I did an ad, then it dropped, and then I got out around this period around here. But it actually, the low of the day was 362.30. No, 362.48. I remember it was 362.30. No, I think that's after hours. Hold on. No, after hours low is 362.08. 362.32 actually was four o'clock. So actually we're bouncing a little here. That's because of Cisco. Cisco's up now tonight. We were, we were lower earlier. Like I said, we were at 362. So we'll see where we are tomorrow. Tomorrow's a big day, it's Thursday. Unemployment claims tomorrow morning, we'll see what we do. I have no idea. I get up in the morning and I look at the gap and I rate the gap and I try to make my rating decisions in the morning. I give myself a break. I'd like a 24 hour break, but I was trading for a while today. Long day, less of a break, but still at six o'clock, a little after six here, I'll give myself at least a 12 hour break looking at charts, get up fresh tomorrow morning, look at this fresh, Great call, very professional expert call by me here today in this market to see that we would fall, to see that we would go, to see that we would break, to see the momentum would go to the downside despite the rally that was there this morning and the people that were buying the dip and people that were buying the gap fill. The true way to make money in the market is to, number one, make sure you get in the direction right, and number two, trade a stock that is going to have a momentum move and preferably a big move. Now this I would call medium, a little larger than medium. So definitely not small today. So again, following institutional money is a way that you can make money in the market, not retail traders. If you'd like more information and want to sign up for the Golden Gap course, the class for August is coming up in a couple of days. It's this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern time. Email me if you'd like more information. Have a great night, everyone.